Parking meter changes are sticking around after all. The alderman who backed increasing meter hours downtown last week tried for a repeal today. Didn't work. Fox's Brett Lemoyne live with what that means for our wallets. Hey, Brett. Yeah, Ted and Mary, uh, Milwaukee's Common Council unanimously passed this ordinance last week. The Department of Public Works says it will actually increase revenue for the city and free up parking spaces downtown because it will reduce the number of free hours. But not everyone sees it that way. Money is already tight for Sally Manning. And I'm like, don't have a job right now either. So finding out she may have to plug downtown parking meters more frequently could mean cutting back on her social life. Probably carpooling and definitely like thinking about that, like when deciding where to go. Milwaukee's Common Council unanimously approved an ordinance last week that allows the Department of Public Works to extend meter hours in the Central Business District. Instead of free parking after 6 p.m. on weeknights, visitors will have to pay until 9. Meters will also be added on Saturdays. On to what was supposed to be the most controversial item on today's yeah, agenda. Well, Thursday, Alderman Bob Bauman took the issue back to committee in hopes of a repeal. His district covers downtown. Bauman also sponsored and voted for the new meter ordinance. He says DPW wasn't clear when they told the council downtown business owners and neighborhood associations were okay with the changes. Their opinions were given four years ago. Come on. You got to get these people up to date on what we're doing, make sure they're still on board, if they were ever on board. Business owners came forward with a warning. I do not think it is wise for this committee or the Common Council to make it more difficult for people to come downtown. But ultimately, the committee voted to stay the course. We're not repealing this today, and we'll continue to work with you to address the concerns you've raised. In the third ward, paying for on Saturdays would be yeah, troublesome. For sure. Time's already up for out of towners like Nancy Patricus. I just don't think that's very fair for people. I think it might be a problem with tourism. And DPW stresses these increases will likely only affect high volume parking areas. There are also discussions about possible exemptions for residential zones, but either way, DPW says it's going to take months, maybe even a year, to implement. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. So, Brett, what about people who go to concerts, for example, or maybe the theater? Will they have to plug a meter or find a new space if they're somewhere for, let's say, more than two hours? That's a great question, Mary, and actually people have been asking us that as well, so I'm glad you asked. Uh, what it means is if you pay, there will only be that two-hour limit that is still in place right now. So uh, basically, if you park at 6.01, you'll be able to pay up until 9 p.m., and then anything after 9 is free. Oh, okay. All right. Understood. Brett, thank you.